Just across the river there is uh, Long Lama. I've gone the wrong way by about 30 kilometers. After La Porte, I should have turned right um, and then gone onto the timber road, but so that's 60 kilometers extra. Because of that, I'm going to arrive in um, Kilo 10 at nightfall, I think. Great. This could be home for tonight. It's 4.30 I think, and I've got about two hours of daylight left, maybe one and a half hours to do about, I don't know, 50 kilometers to get to Kilo 10. Okay, now it's really pissing down the rain. I'm pretty much stuck here for a while. And the bad thing is, I lost my uh, sleeping bag, right? And my sleeping mat. Otherwise, I could stay here tonight. No problem. This shit's pretty good, look. It's not bad, this shed. So I could stay here tonight, but I don't have a sleeping bag. And I don't have a mat. That really sucks. It's very dark. It's now 6.32. And it's pitch dark already. And I'm like, uh, maybe about 15 kilometers away from Kilo 10. That little kink there is where I went, took the wrong way to Long Lama. That cost me something like, oh, I don't know, 60 kilometers there and back. And basically it cost me the daylight. But I've got maybe another 15 minutes and I'm in the camp. And hopefully I can find a place to stay. This is Nick. He's a journalist from New Straight Times. Yeah, hi. We're both glad to be under the roof instead of out there. This is crazy. One of the most intense electrical storms I've ever seen. For 30 bucks. And um, I don't know if you can see it. Happy camper, happy camper. My name is Nick from uh, NSTP. Looking for the people, like Penang people. You know, the Penang people, the original people from Sarawak. Right. Long year. Kenya. Um, Kayan people, right? For my last uh, article for uh, the Sunday time soon, right? So in the 2011, I must go back to KL. It's my hometown and doing a job. After five years, I live in Sarawak. Had a great sleep last night in uh, electrical storm. The thunder actually shook my bed. I mean, it's no kidding. It's really so incredibly loud for about an hour and a half. Oh, they sell gas here, so I should get some. I haven't seen many uh, timber trucks, maybe about, uh, maybe just over 10. But uh, look at that a mountain over there. I'm just wondering which one that is. I passed along the sun without even knowing. I, I crossed a huge bridge and a uh, big river. And I was hoping to stop at the, at the kampong, but didn't see anything remo remotely like it, so I thought it was further out, but actually I missed it. Just passed the La'an. And now I'm heading this way. The road looks good right here, but most of the time it's not. Well, I've done 100 kilometers today, and I'm nowhere near Barrio yet. Uh, stopped at Salan back there. And the guys said that uh, I was about four hours away by, you know, four-wheel drive, so probably it's five hours. So i got probably another four hours before I get to Barrio. Roads get pretty bad in some areas, and uh, but one thing good is the trucks are going slow. So it gives me plenty of time to pull to the side. You know, if I get it wrong on the arrow thing. But so far it's been good. Only once had a close call. That was yesterday. When the other guy on the other side didn't follow the arrow. And that was pretty scary. I'm taking a break here. There's a bit of shade, so it's a good time to stop. Bracket broke. And I lost my, you know, all my gear. You think I know to check each time, but still. 
We've done 30,000 kilometers in Pan Am. I still am a rookie. Pathetic, really. Well, I'm very tempted to have a swim. But someone's collecting water here, so I didn't want to, you know, in case he thinks I'm taking a piss in the water or something. As good a time as any to take a break. These things, these um, Cremos, they, they're like Oreos. I think they're better than Oreos. They're a lot more fresh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here comes the dust. Fucker. Yeah, I needed that. That was cold. Nice. So I took the wrong way again. I went down here, past this bridge, Marawa Bridge, big bridge. And I went up a long way. Got to there, thought it felt wrong. There are no signs, so I came back all the way. Back to Marawa Bridge, asked another person. And they said to turn left before the bridge. And now I'm on this small road. I mean, this is like, this is a bigger part of the road. This is a big part of the road. It's actually much smaller than this further down there. So now we're really looking at like um, small car trails with lots and lots of uh, holes. I have only this left, 10.5 liters, and I'm out on my tank. I'm now on reserve. 10.5 liters should give me about the best part of 400 kilometers, and I don't expect Barrio to be that far. But stranger things have happened. Now there's no one here this place is absolutely like nothing. Funny thing was uh, I was looking out for signs of life and I saw a little coke can that looked pretty new on the side of the road. The only thing, the only rubbish I saw. So I'm going to fill up. I'm going to fill up. You can see where I came from. Kind of rough. Bloody. It's pretty cooling this thing up here. It's slow. I've got about three hours to go apparently and uh, no more fuel. I've just got one full tank and a little bit left in the cherry can. That's it. Three hours. I think I should be okay. I hope. I'll try to get some from any village that I see but apparently there are no more villages before Barrio so we'll see. Across there about 15 kilometers on the other side of the range is Indonesia. I'm near the border now. Right there and that's the border right there and that's about 15 kilometers it's been it's really hard because it's kilometers here. deep troughs and um, some areas have lots of mud and I had almost six offs you know almost had two spectacular drops but so far touch wood nothing I haven't fallen yet and I don't intend to because it's just gonna hurt maybe Well, I was looking at the timber camp, and I, you know, I was trying to trying to see where the entry was for. I don't know. I lost concentration, and went into a deep rut. I just couldn't control it. So, a good thing I'm not hurt, but everything's bent out of shape. You know, the these things are all gone, and this one's a bit screwed up. Hope I can band it back in place. GPS too is shifted, but that's all right. I can fix that. Hope the bike's not damaged. Well, just gotta get going. Hey, Muri, this one's for you. I see going through this stuff at all. And, okay, here we go. Uh, help, mommy. Well, I got through that one, the last one, the last three. Now there's this one, which now seems to look pretty easy by comparison. Oops. It's either a left turn myself. or a right turn. And my GPS can't tell me anything, it's, it's useless. It's got Barrio on it, but it doesn't show on the main map. It's like, it's some kind of glitch. And I've got 45 minutes left of daylight, and I'm in the dark here. Right deep in the dark. Well, I just met a guy called Supi, and he told me to go that way, left. Thank God I waited. Um, he says it'll take about an hour to get there, so... I'm losing light, I'm riding in the dark. I don't like this, but I got no choice. Either that or I go to Supi's place and I stay the night there. That's 15 minutes. I could stay the night at Supi's uh, kampong. 
and I make my way instead to uh, Barrio tomorrow instead of uh, trying to do it tonight. Okay, I'll try to decide. I don't know. God, it's so quiet. I'm about half an hour away. I just fell, and I can't lift the bike. I'm just—it's on an incline, and I just—I'm just tired as hell. So I gotta get it off this incline before I can lift it. I think. Oh, I can actually, I can actually, I can actually hear my heart nice. beating. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Roy, and I just met him. He helped me to repair. He had all the tools, so we managed to fix the, uh, we managed to fix the gear lever. So I got in at, uh, I don't know what time it is, almost, I think about 7.30, 7.45. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're taking a four-wheel drive to John's. New Lodge is building. Apa nama kampung? Uh, Long Layu. Di Kalimantan. Ah, Kalimantan. Dekat uh, atau Long Bawan. Long Bawan kita jangan kalau jalan kaki satu hari. Kalau pakai motor bike kira dua jam. Well, this barrio, right there. taking the four-wheel drive to go part of the route that I was on last night. Much better than a four-wheel drive. We're at uh, John's Hideaway. Yeah. Not so deep in the jungle, but deep enough. This is John Tarawe. Hi, hi Alex, the next time you come, uh, I will have my uh, um, room there. I think I have uh, uh, the toilets there and everything sorted. Little known fact about here. this guy is he survived a plane crash, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, the butterfly just landed on you. Yeah. Thank you.